The Vericut project template, or sometimes called a VMC, is a set of Vericut files configured to enable Vericut to accurately simulate your CNC machine tool. This video will show you how to create a project template and customize your Vericut desktop. Here we have a Vericut new project open and now we can start to configure our project template. First, from the Vericut library, we will select a machine and a control file. The machine file includes machine kinematics, models, and other properties. The control file includes the rules for how the NC codes are to be interpreted. When combined, Verica can simulate how the CNC Machine Center will respond to G-Code NC program files. Let's now save the project file with the name of the CNC Machine tool. We can now fine-tune this template to suit our needs and personal preferences. We will start with some project settings. The Motion tab enables you to provide important settings related to the motion displayed during the simulation. The Fast Feed setting is the feed rate threshold of which material removal is unsafe or not possible by the CNC machine tool. We will also set Verica to check for the spindle direction against the valid direction of the tool. The features on the collision branch enable you to turn on machine collision detection and specify specific tool conditions that you want Vericut to check during processing. The features on the project settings window enable you to set tolerances for the simulation, set NC program review options, and other general properties for the Vericut simulation. The status panel has a lot of information which can be displayed. A good practice when setting up a project template is to customize the status panel to display only the information which is pertinent to this VMC and to the user. Setting up appropriate views for the template is important. Let's set up our template to display two views. Since we are dealing with views, let's toggle on Hardware Graphics Acceleration. With OpenGL enabled, you can control the display characteristics of a workpiece, machine, or machine cutstock view. Another good practice when dealing with views is to set the view cube's front and home settings, and any other views which may be required. All the above options are saved with the project file, so let's go now and save it. Now we can go ahead and fine-tune some of our user preference settings. The toolbar option opens the view toolbar window enabling you to control when the toolbar is displayed and the icons that it contains. Toolbar icons provide quick and easy access to most commonly used Vericut functions and features. Let's lay out which dockable panels we want displayed on Vericut's desktop. Vericut enables you to personalize your workspace to match the process by which you use Vericut's many features, as well as incorporating your own personal preferences. The layout and the last location of all dockable panels, including tabbed and pin panels, are saved in the user's preference file. The preferences window enables you to specify Vericut startup options, like the Vericut project file that you want displayed when you launch Vericut, the look and feel of the GUI or the Vericut desktop, dynamic mouse control settings, view cube display settings, and other user preferences. And from this window, we can also save the user's Vericut preferences file. Since all the above settings are saved with the preferences file, let's now save it. This project template can now be used for all new jobs to be simulated on this machine. We simply add the setup information directly in the project tree or reference this template in any of the many CAD CAM interfaces. And that's it. For more information on the features you have seen here, see the Vericut help. Or for a step-by-step -step training session, see the Vericut welcome screen.